Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I caked a bay hive. Yo, it's a bee hive. No, it's a bay hive. Bees can make their own hive. They're very good at it. Excellent. People study it. To make my bay hive cake, I baked four pounds of my ultimate vanilla cake dyed yellow and six pounds of my ultimate chocolate cake dyed black. All six of my cakes have been baked and leveled, and now I need to start shaping them. I want to shape each one of my cakes by rounding off the top edge and turning it upside down and doing the same to the bottom edge. I feel like I already am talking with attitude. The bay hive, or as some people call it, a beehive, has a shape like this. Each one goes in. It's kind of like a cone, it's a little like rounded index. Quick announcement guys, I'm gonna be making an appearance at the SoFlo Cake and Candy Expo on April 28th and 29th. Check howtokickit.com for all of the details as we announce them. SoFlo is in Miami. Now I need to cut Secret Chambers into four of my cakes. Beyonce and Secret Chambers. I'm done. I'm done, that's it. I'm actually gonna keep the largest circle of cake that I cut out from my biggest cake and create a seventh tier, because Yolanda just likes that number. I just treat it like a tiny little cake and carve it in the same way as the others. I always simple syrup my cakes, but this is the bay hive. It needs to be dripping with honey, so I made a honey simple syrup. Honey, like Bay's voice. I look and stare so deep in your eyes. To make honey simple syrup, I simply pour one and a half cups of water, one cup of sugar, and half a cup of honey into a pot and bring it to a rolling boil. Then I strain my syrup into a bowl, and once it's cooled completely, I actually like to strain it one more time. There's often some honey froth at the top, if you will. And then I pour it into Sir Squeeze, and he says, yes, this is honey syrup. You can use this honey simple syrup on any flavor of cake that you like, just for a little extra something. With the help of Sir Squeeze, I shower all seven of my cakes with my honey simple syrup and allow it to soak in. Okay. We can't give Beyonce any dry cake. I don't have time for that. <laughs> it is time to crumb coat and chill all seven of my layers of cake. You want to make sure to crumb coat even inside the secret chamber. This way you get less crumbs on your beautiful surprise inside. Oh my God, I don't know what just happened to me. I just got super excited that we're going on a road trip to see Beyonce. <laughs> I know. Dear Beyonce, I forgive you for not coming to Toronto. <laughs> kind of. There's just a lot of us here, we're buzzing. That's why I made the hive. <laughs> so we could all just like get in it. Now it's time to ice each one of my layers. And for that, I'm using my invention. I actually feel really bad about withholding information about my invention. So I'm gonna tell you how I made it. I take a piece of acetate and I cut it into a square. That's incredible, yo. I know. That's buzzing. That's buzzing. <laughs> I use it just like a bench scraper, but it's like a curved bench scraper. So I turn the Lazy Susan and that bend helps keep my cakes nice and curved. Guys, I need help coming up with a name for my invention. So leave a hashtag below with your idea and use the hashtag Yo's Invention. And I don't need you to tell me I really didn't invent it. This is called sarcasm. In case you've never watched How to Cake It, it's in every episode. You know, Beyonce, she's talented, but does she have a square piece of acetate is the question. It's time to cover these cakes in fondant and I'm gonna do the reverse. So I'm gonna cover all of my yellow tears with black fondant and all of my black tears with yellow fondant. You know what it is? It's less expected. That's what I love about Beyonce. You gotta admit, when you go to a Beyonce concert, you're like, I think I know what she's, and then like the curtain goes and she does the whole routine and the crowd is losing it. Just like losing it. So I surprised you. I know what you thought. You thought I was gonna cover the black cakes black and the yellow cakes yellow. No. Mm -mm. It's like dropping an album. This is my version of dropping an album. Yo, I think that's a bit of a stress. It is. Boom! All of the cakes with a secret chamber, I used the same circle cutter to remove the fondant from the top of the secret chamber. Opposite fondant. Opposite I bet you it's fondant. trending on Twitter. Hold on. <laughs> So 
So if you're wondering how a beehive is different than like a regular beehive, it has a stage. I need to make a secret chamber board. Oh wow. I see, that's dropping an album. Yep. That's buzzing. That's another one. So I cut a hole out of the center of my board and then I covered my board in yellow fondant, the same fondant as some of my tears. And I just made it stick to the board by first brushing it with clear piping gel, draped it on, smoothed it around, cut away the excess, filled in the chamber, and I set that aside to dry for a bit. Of course it has a stitch. <laughs> what do you think? You know Beyonce practices all day. You know this, right? Like if she came here, we would have to build a stage. And we would do it Beyonce. We would. Once my stage has dried a little bit, I paint it gold. What do you paint it, Yolanda? Gold. <laughs> if you're part of the Bayhive and you think this cake is buzzing, then please share this cake. This one is definitely for you. Also, leave a comment below if you are part of the Bayhive. Please and thank you. <laughs> it's time to make the bees that are part of the Bayhive. I am using some yellow fondant and I put some CMC in it and kneaded it in just to stiffen it up a little. Then I rolled myself a cord of fondant and I used a ruler, of course, to cut equal lengths from that cord. Now I'm going to form each one of those pieces into a ball, kind of more of like an oval, if you will. And I just want to pinch one end so I can create a stinger. The next thing I want to do is create the waist of the bee? Well, yeah. Beyonce's bees would have waist. Of course. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is actually use a piece of string and pull it taut around my fondant and twist it. So I'm cinching. It's like a waist trainer. Like a waist trainer. <laughs> of course Beyonce's bees have waist trainers. Of course they do. Of course they do. They gotta keep fit. They gotta dance beside Beyonce. The next thing I'm going to do is take some more yellow fondant roll it out, cut smaller lengths, and I'm gonna create the head of the bee. This is the winning KT Club tea that you guys chose out of our three designs. It's available exclusively for Cake Tea Club and Deluxe Cake Tea Club members who also get free gifts every month and a postcard from me. Sign up at howtocakeit.com. Now all my bees are in formation. Okay, Bumbles, now let's get in formation but they need stripes. They've earned them. Yes, they have. So for the bee stripes, I roll out some black gum paste, really thin. And then I use my strip cutters to cut out stripes of fondant. So what I did is I put a thicker stripe on the torso of the bee. <laughs> this is like their like, uh, like tube top. Yeah. And then <laughs> on the bottom, I put two thinner stripes and I glued them on with clear piping gel, and then I just wrapped it around to the bottom of the bee, and to make my life easier, I used manicure scissors to trim them. The same porg manicure scissors that gave me a blister. Cake decorating is tough. It's almost as tough as dancing on stage like dance. <laughs> we could say almost. Here. Almost. <laughs> For the wings, I rolled out some white gum paste, thin, and then I actually used uh, a calyx cutter, cut out a bunch of them, and then individually cut out each petal. And then I held each one in my hand and inserted a very thin floral wire so that the bees could be buzzing. Look, this bee is feisty. Now she's relaxed. Beyonce's singing a ballad, right? So she's just like, but then when it's time to get information, she's like, I'm on it. All the single bubbles, all the single bubbles, all the single bubbles, all the single bubbles. To get back to the bees, I have to draw their little faces on with a food coloring marker. I made different faces. So this is the bee that's always singing at the concert. This bee is crying because she is so happy she's at a Beyonce concert. This bee is upset because this is the bee that sits behind me at a Beyonce concert and gets like all this hair in her face. This is the bee who like won't stop talking through the concert. I'm like, why are you here? I know, like go home and have this conversation. And then for the antenna, I actually use, these are called stamen. It's just a tiny floral wire with like royal icing piped on the top and they come in different colors. And then, now that the wings have dried up a bit, I just brushed on a little bit of pearl glitter. Girls get dressed up at a Beyonce concert. It is not a joke. Remember when we went to the Beyonce concert and they were all in the plaid shirts and oh, the jean yeah. shorts? Yeah. Like flawless? Yeah. And all those shirts flawless. Yeah. Like every, oh wow. Yeah. 
It's a hive, people. It's a real hive. Of course, I made a queen bee. Beyonce. I made her in the same way as all the other bees, but she's larger, she's bolder, and she's wearing those extra wings because she's performing tonight. So she can fatten them on stage. All the bumblebees! Cody, all the, the bumblebees. bumblebees! Now get your wings up! To make Beyonce's crown, I rolled out some yellow gum paste and I used a frill cutter that I have, cut out a strip, and then I just cut a piece of that strip and I wrapped it around a food coloring marker. I made sure to put some shortening on, wrapped it around, allowed it to dry, and then I had a crown. Oh, and make sure to paint her crown gold. Up in the hive, just go up, do my own little thing. To assemble this cake, the first thing I need to do is add a board to the bottom of it. So I need to take my largest bottom cake and flip it over carefully, and then I just cut a board to that exact same size. Now I'm going to glue that board in place with a little bit of royal icing. Before I start with this bottom tier, I need to cut a doorway, an entrance into the stadium, naturally. So I just used my small serrated knife and I cut a little open doorway. But the thing is, as I fill my cake and stack it with sprinkles, I don't want them all to just come out of the door. So I'm taking a ball of fondant and just blocking the doorway, okay? The concert doors are not open yet. I'm, I'm gonna fill my secret chambers with sprinkles as I build this cake up. The sprinkles that I'm using to fill this cake are this month's sprinkle service medley. This month, you get two sets of sprinkles, a bottle of our Cake Queen sprinkles, and then a two ounce emergency bag of Bay Hive sprinkles. These are only available for sprinkle service members, so sign up at howtokickit.com. I got sprinkles in my bag, swag. We I should know. take these to the concert and throw them at Beyonce. <laughs> Will we get kicked out of the concert? <laughs> Starting with the bottom tier, I fill the secret chamber with Bayhive sprinkles. I use an offset spatula just to pat them down and make sure it's level with the cake. And then I spread a little bit of royal icing on the surface of the cake and add the next yellow tier. Repeat, royal icing, add the next black tier, fill the chamber, and now it's time for the stage. And I add the final tier that has a secret chamber, fill it with sprinkles, and then I just continue by adding the last three tiers. I wanted to make this cake look like it was just dripping honey, but it drips gold honey because it's a bay hive. So I mixed some more gold paint and I carefully painted it onto the tops of the black layers here and there and allowed that gold paint to drip. The trickiest thing is you don't want your paint to be so thin that it just drips down the whole hive. You want it to be thin enough that it runs, but thick enough that it stays and you get that dripping honey effect. I need to make a quick frame for my doorway, so I just roll a cord of black fondant and I just wrap it around the doorway. But don't take the fondant out yet. I need to add my bees. I had seven bees up on the stage. Those are Beyonce's backup dancer. They're just buzzing. And then there's one crying bee that's up near the stage. It's one of those crazy fans who will like climb over anything to get on the stage. The bee's name is Casper. Um, <laughs> What's up, Casper? Sheer coincidence. <laughs> and then, queen bee. I did use a toothpick and a little bit of piping gel just to secure the bees in place. The concert's beginning, and I have to cut a slice. I have to have a slice. Yeah. Yes. Now, if you liked it, then you should have put a sting on it. If you like Cody. it, then you should have put a sting on it. Don't be mad, cause you see that he's buzzing. <laughs> Click here to watch my step-by-step -step pineapple cake and here to watch my toy cakes compilation. Cody, what is your favorite Beyonce song? Soldier. Oh, that's, that's Destiny's, Destiny's Child, child but, but it's all right. Fine. That's it's all right. Fine. Jeremy would have not had an answer. So at least he tried. It's good.